Hello, my beautiful brethren. We got another replacement here today. We have Matthias. Matthias had a very important role as a replacement in the word. We only hear his name a couple times in the word and then never again. Yet his role as a replacement was huge. He was used to replace Judas Iscariot after Judas had betrayed Jesus Christ and after Jesus had ascended into heaven. Matthias means gift of God, similar to Matthew, and he was there the whole time. Matthias was there the whole time. He was faithful without needing to be a part of the main 12 disciples initially. He was a disciple of Jesus Christ, not because Jesus called him personally, but because he heard the truth and he followed it as faithfully as did dozens of other nameless believers in the word. He witnessed Jesus' baptism by John the Baptist. He witnessed Jesus' miracles, and he lived with Jesus and the other disciples. Once Jesus ascended to heaven, the disciples had instructions to wait, and they were waiting for the coming of the Holy Spirit. So in this interim, Peter said, let's replace Judas. Twelve was an important number. They had become eleven, yet twelve was an important number to the Israelites because it was representative of the twelve tribes of Israel. I'm just going to read a little bit from Acts. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers, a group numbering about 120, and said, Brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit spoke long ago through David concerning Judas, who served as a guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was one of our number and shared in our ministry. For, said Peter, it is written in the book of Psalms. May his place be deserted, let there be none to dwell in it, and may another take his place of leadership. So I did skip a little part where um, Judas killed himself in what is called the field, the field of blood, just um, not for any specific reason, but I'm just sticking to Peter's words here and what he's saying. He's quoting Psalms and talking about how they need to replace Judas as according to the scripture. May his place be deserted, let there be no one to dwell in it, and may another take his place of leadership now. You know, even the word says, um, you know, replacements are necessary at one time or another. And Peter continues, therefore it is necessary to choose one of the men who have been with us the whole time the Lord Jesus was living among us, beginning from John's baptism to the time when Jesus was taken up from us. For one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. So they nominated two men, Joseph called Barsabbas, also known as Justice and Matthias. Then they prayed, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which of these two you have chosen to take over this apostolic ministry, which Judas left to go where he belongs. Then they cast lots and the lot fell to Matthias. So he was added to the 11 disciples. Back in the day, they would cast lots, which is was like writing names or choices on stones, putting them in a bag or a container, shaking it up and choosing one. Yet first they would pray and whatever they chose would be the word of God. And that's what they did here. Luke 10.1 tells us there were about 72 other disciples in consideration, at least, besides the main disciples. And they were all commissioned into ministry. And that's what Peter was saying. He's like, we want, we need another one who witnessed the resurrection because we're all going out, right? We're going out now to make disciples. So, uh, and Matthias is, is again, he's not mentioned again in the word such an important role that he played and of course even to be mentioned once or twice in the word of God uh, just shows what an instrumental role that he filled. In a world where being chosen or up first is coveted, the Bible reminds us that even those in the background, the, umber, the, umber, the underdogs, the humble, the faithful, all will be used and covered in God's glory when he gives the word. The Lord makes all things beautiful in his time.